Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we turn to talking about the James Bond 007 movie franchise, who's apparently getting woke as hell this summer, just like everyone else. The James Bond film franchise is, of course, a spy action thriller series based on the fictional British secret agent created in 1953 by writer Ian Fleming. It is one of the biggest and longest continually running film series in history, having been in ongoing production from 1962 to the present. In that time, Eon Productions has produced 25 different films, most of them at Pinewood Studios, and all with a combined gross of over $7 billion. American, pretty impressive. And the films produced by Eon constitute the fifth highest grossing film series in all of history too, not too shabby. To date, six actors have portrayed 007 in the Eon series, the latest being Daniel Craig, of course. Craig's done a stunning and impressive job portraying the James Bond character recently too, even starring in the Skyfall and Spectre films, which are the two highest grossing films in the entire series. And well, that brings us to the new and upcoming addition to the series, now still tentatively titled Bond 25, it being the 25th entry. This next film is set to come out next year, in April 2020, and needless to say, speculation about this thing has really started to peak. It's been about four years since the last movie too, and as I said before, this is a world-renowned, long-running series, and one that I personally grew up with and enjoy. So, in true SJW fashion, the radical left and PC culture warriors have naturally come after this project even before it has had a chance to come out. The ultimate goal is rather predictable too, and something we've discussed with many other movie series and franchises lately. They want to cast women and minorities into everything, even taking over other more prominent roles. SJWs really don't care about these movies either, and they don't care about the story, the craftsmanship, or the final products. All they actually care about is if they can shoehorn in more blacks, browns, women, gays, and trans. Regardless of how off-putting their processes and how terrible their race, sex, and gender-obsessed casting has become and how bad it's made the movies. For example, over the last year or so, a lot of people have been pushing for Idris Alba to play the next James Bond. This campaign started when leaked Sony emails revealed that producers had considered him for the role at one point, and then social justice warriors gladly jumped onto that bandwagon because it fit in with their woke agenda to blackwash every famous white character ever. Fortunately, this Idris Alba of Bond never came to be because even though he is a great actor and could have done a wonderful job playing 007, but he's also a little on the older side. And of course, he's not the traditional look for the character, obviously. Let's be real here. James Bond is supposed to be a straight white male from Britain. You can try and race swap and make him gay or PC all you want, but you'll just be doing that to spite the original main character. Sure, you could argue that there are plenty of blacks in Britain nowadays and the world would justify blackwashing this character now, but unless it's being done for a good, creative, casting-related reason, Really, the SJWs are just doing this for their woke political reasons. And as I said before, if the left can argue and lobby for characters to change their major characteristics like this, then I think it's just as fair to argue that we think they should stay the same. But there still seems to be some kind of implication out there that you can't argue for characters to stay white and or straight or something like that. But I obviously don't agree with that sentiment. That's just anti-white racism talking. And it's anti-straight bigotry too, trying to tell us we're so guilty of some made-up past or original sin or something. Something we can't even defend ourselves from in the present. Ridiculous. Let's face facts though. Bond is a traditionally white British character. Get over it. Why don't these people just make their own series or characters or franchises anyway? Oh yeah, they suck at movie making and no one would watch the drivel they make. That's why all they can do is hope to take over more popular media like the James Bond series. And that finally brings us to the new story that's been breaking about James Bond this weekend. Apparently we've got something even worse than Idris Alba, a wannabe Black Bond spinoff. This time, it appears James Bond is not only getting black, he's also getting female, as the new 007 character has just been revealed to the press. Now, this is a bit of a different story, admittedly, since it's not the actual James Bond character that's getting race and gender swapped. Daniel Craig will still play our favorite bad boy, but since in this new movie the James Bond character has left his spy agency, a new agent will be taking over his 007 codename. Enter Lashana Lynch, who's not only black and female, but also as if the this chick couldn't get woke enough here, well, she also got famous for playing a side character in this year's biggest woke SJW fest of all, Captain Marvel. That's right, this is a Captain Marvel actor who's black and female washing the 007 agent codename in the new James Bond movie. Really can't make this kind of bullshit up. For more details on Agent 007 becoming a woke black woman, let's turn to an article from Refinery29 called, The Next James Bond Film is Getting Its First Black and Female 007. Check this bullshit out. The internet may have won 
wanted a black Bond or a female Bond, but it looks like we're getting both and neither. Lashana Lynch has been tapped to play the new 007 in the upcoming Bond 25 film, The Independent Reports. While Lynch, who recently played Maria Rambo opposite Brie Larson in Captain Marvel, will reportedly be playing the new Agent 007, the character James Bond is still expected to be portrayed by Daniel Craig. Right. And as I said before, she's not the new Bond. She's the new 007. A little better, but still pretty cringy. And just look at this picture of Lashana here. Not much of a looker, is she? I don't know what it is about this woke SJW bullshit, but they always cast not such good looking women with short haircuts too. Terminator Dark Fate has been doing the same thing as we discussed in a video last week. And before that, we were talking about Charlie's Angels also getting woke. And they also were casting uglier, less appealing ladies as well. I don't know what it is about these leftists, but they appear to like casting not attractive people, almost like it's a way to get a revenge on all the sexy ladies who have been cast before them on the screen in the past. And that's the same vibe I get with this black and brown washing of white characters too. They're trying to get revenge because everyone likes straight white males and we've been cast and everything according to them. And in their messed up heads, they think movies, TV, and the world has been dominated by straight white males. Which in part is true, but they say it's because of racist biases and white supremacy when really, we've been running everything because we're better, stronger, smarter, and more talented. And people like us. Next, let's talk about the claim that the internet wanted this kind of bullshit. Are you serious? Literally no one would seriously claim to want this. Especially not potential movie goers or hardcore James Bond fans. The only people asking for a legendary character to be black or female washed for SJW reasons is the left wingers and PC SJWs themselves. And although they may seem big and all encompassing, really, most people in the public don't even know what a SJW or social justice warrior is. Nor do they think their radical liberal thinking is mainstream or relevant. Actually, SJWs just seem more prevalent than they are because they're the vocal and propped up minority who gets backed up by the mainstream media, Hollywood, Democrats, and big tech, and so on. There's a pivotal scene at the start of the film where M, played by Ralph Fiennes, says, come in 007, and in walks Lashana who is black, beautiful, and a woman. It's a popcorn dropping moment. Bond is still Bond, but he's been replaced as 007 by this stunning woman. An insider told the Daily Mail. This means that while Lynch will be taking on the agent number 007, James Bond is still Bond. Bond is expected to be in retirement at the start of the events of the upcoming film, essentially making the coveted agent number 007 open for Lynch's taking. Well, I have to ask, where is the beautiful and stunning woman in this scene though? I'm still waiting to see this hot chick show up, because I certainly haven't seen any photos of this Lashana Lynch lady looking hot at all. Now, I won't go so far as to say she's totally ugly or terrible either. She's not a monster by any means, but she's also not hot, stunning, or beautiful at all. This pink dress picture is her trying to look hot on the red carpet, but I'm just not seeing it. And the more this article and the movie's makers try and push it and tell us that she is in fact hot, well that makes me realize that she's really not. And it's also sounding cringy and forced. And this again reminds me of Terminator Dark Fate, because they too had people attached to the project trying to tell us that their new short-haired leading lady, who's taking the place of a previously male role, well, Terminator Dark Fate was telling us that this picture of their new Terminator was a really hot chick. But just like with the 007 character, the new Terminator is not hot either. They're both short-haired, butch, and manly looking. But the SJWs behind these projects are pretending they're hot and sexy, and they want us to think that too. And who wants to take a bet saying that if people don't say these girls are pretty, we're going to be called sexist eventually too. I know for damn sure if we don't love and praise this new James Bond movie, we'll eventually be called sexist, racist, and bigots as well. This is basically Ghostbusters 2016 all over again. Terminator, Dark Fate, and Charlie's Angels have their woke versions coming out this fall. And now, James Bond's 007 is getting woke as well, next spring. And I predict all this progressive bullcrap will fail miserably too. But instead of looking inward and realizing that their ideas were shit, the studios and the people behind the pictures, they'll blame us, the fans, for not liking their shitty derivative garbage that they're shoving down our faces. The casting of Lashana Lynch as the first female 007 is the latest evidence that Bond 25 will be a much more inclusive installment than its predecessors. The hiring of feminist TV writer and actor Phoebe Waller-Bridge to write the script for the film was perhaps the first suggestion that Bond 25 would be in the very least much more empathetic to its female characters. Waller-Bridge, who is the creator of Killing Eve and Fleabag, never heard of those, previously said that her intention was to make sure that the Bond girls felt like real people. Given the feminist approaches of her TV shows, Lynch should have a lot of material to work with, even if Craig is still the star of the film as Bond. The Bond 25 film is being directed by Carrie Fukunaga of True Detective and is expected to hit theaters on April 8th, 2020. Wow, I guess we could see where all this woke, inclusive casting is coming from. The female SJW-leaning writers have taken over at Bond headquarters, and this kind of villain is much scarier
scarier than anything the character 007 has ever had to face. It's funny too since the James Bond series has been known to have some of the best leading ladies of all time, but the previous Bond girls don't exactly gel well with this new wave of feminism, namely because the previous girls in this series were not only straight, but they were also extremely sexy and appealing on camera. But the new woke black 007 isn't any of that to say the least. And since modern SJWs basically hate pretty girls and straight people, they're casting more girls who aren't good looking and have boyish haircuts, ironically enough. And lastly, in the end, isn't it rather hypocritical for Hollywood movie makers to again blackwash another major legacy character? We just got through the Little Mermaid drama where they did about the same thing. And at the same time, if any of us terrible white people ever dared to play a role that was previously another race, we would be damned and cursed for it and driven out of the public square. Tilda Swinton, for example, recently got backlash for playing a previously Asian character called the Ancient One in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And also, Scarlett Johansson has been attacked for both supposedly playing an Asian robot in Ghost in the Shell, and also, ScarJo was pressured out of playing a transgender character just last year in a new project. Because of course, she's not trans herself, and that's not good enough for the left. Fortunately, Scarlett Johansson has been pushing back recently, and some are coming to her aid too, saying she can play whatever character she wants. She's a sexy, awesome, and proven actress who should be allowed to have free reign in her craft. And this Scarlett side story may be the topic of a whole other video too, but the point here is this. The same people who attacked Scarlett and Tilda Swinton for taking other groups' roles, supposedly, well, they're also the same ones cheering on the same kind of thing when the roles are being taken from whites and straights. Pretty hypocritical, offensive, racist, and also just plain wrong. And 007's woke and SJW posturing here really needs to stop. What do you guys think? Is James Bond getting woke? Should the blackwashing of white characters be encouraged? While at the same time, the whitewashing of other minority characters is condemned. And how the hell do SJWs justify this kind of hypocritical thinking? Comment your thoughts on everything below and thanks for watching No Bullshit. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and we'll see you all next time.